Welcome to Brands Experience. In this video, I will share with you how to connect an existing domain to your Shopify online store. First, visit Shopify.com, then click on Login, fill in your email address, and hit Login. After logging to your Shopify account, go to settings from this corner and from this left side menu look for domains click on it and to connect an existing domain click on this connect existing domain button a new window pops up here you need to fill in your existing domain name in my case my domain name is already registered with hostinger so i will log in to my hostinger account go to domains click on domain portfolio this is my domain name i will copy it like that to avoid make, making mistakes click on next as you can see domain added to your store they automatically detected that my domain is registered on hostinger and now I need to set up some DNS records to point my domain name to Shopify. Step one, log in to your Hostinger and open DNS management. So I'm already logged. So to access my DNS management, click on manage, then go to DNS slash name servers. And from here, I can manage my DNS records for this domain name so let's move to the next step step two add these new dns records the DN, the record type is caa so i will select caa from here the name should be at already done and it should current value should be updated to this one so i will hit copy for the flag i will go with zero the tag issue and here i will put this value click on add record as you can see dns record created successfully let's add the second one caa add and the value should be this one let's copy it select the caa type the name is add flag zero I put zero here and issue here because I cannot, I, as you can see, this field is required. So I will go with zero and the value here. Click on add record, same thing, reach successfully. And now I need, instead of uh, adding new uh, DNS records, I need to update existing ones. So I will look for the value first. Just like that, I will look for find and pass my value here. And as you can see, this is the DNS record I need to edit or update. Click on this update button. And as you can see, the current value is this one. I need to update it to this one. So I will I hit copy and this is the old one. Let's verify it. Yes, 2A02, 2A02. And let's pass it just like that and hit update. DNS record updated successfully. After applying these steps as Shopify requires or ask for, let's hit update this uh, button. I updated DNS records. As you can see, DNS records are pointing to Shopify. Domain is live in all region globally. Provide provisioning TLS certificate for secure connections. As you can see, estimated time, five minutes. Just to let you know, after doing any DNS change or edit, you need to give it some time. For example, let's say step two and three, they asked me to add 
a new record so i need to add it and give it five to ten times just from my experience just apply what shopify asks for in terms of updates or adding new dns records and give it a little bit of weight and after making your changes here completely hit the button i've already updated the dns records and give it some time sometimes shopify asks you to do things you already did it in this dns page so what here is happening is that your changes is not public to shopify yet so this is why you need to give it a little bit of time and be patient here and to uh, give your uh, domain name a try just visit or click on this view button and if it does not work with http give it the 3w dot pin and as you can see now i can see that i have an error with this certification so here what is happening is they still provisioning the tls certificate for secure connections so here i will refresh this page domain is not live let's as you can see they updated the uh, this uh, this task so here i will look for this as you can see they are asking me to update let's look for this record this is it let's hit update and update it to this one let's hit this copy icon past make sure it is a a type dns hit update and look for i think this for a dns type is already updated and they are still not seen as you can see this is it they are asking me to update this one but this one is the existing right now but they are not seeing it so here i will update or i click this button now a new update is required this is the current value always search or find yes search with the with the with the current value it was now hidden but i remember it because i have shops.shopify.com uh, i think yes this, yes my shopify.com so this is the new value click on update now let's add these new dns records as you can see dns records are pointing to shopify let's view my website live this is my old website as you can see the only thing that blocks my uh, new domain from showing me my shopify store is this certification let's remove this s not working as you can see i've i said before i need to be patient here and wait this five minutes let's refresh this page and here i need to add these new dns records let's copy the value as you can see caa type with the name at c let's first let's look as you can see it is already existing so no need to re-add it but this girl I th yes also the second dns record is existing so just uh, avoid or don't look at this new updates and hit i updated 
my website. As you can see, sometimes Sh Shopify sets that the, that the DNS records are pointing to it, I mean Shopify, and sometimes it, it uh, automatically says DNS records are not pointing to, to Shopify. But this is normal with DNS editing. Because DNS is a weird system, it's, or it requires time and sometimes it works on a region and does not work on another region. So just be patient. Let's revisit my website. Same thing. Let's try another thing. Let's change the domain type. And instead of going with redirect domain, for example, redirecting from the my.com domain to my temporary Shopify domain, I will go with primary domain. Maybe this uh, change will trigger something new. As you can see, my domain is now the primary domain for online store. Let's give it a visit. Too many redirects. But I think now it is linked. My domain is linked to Shopify. Why? Because I started uh, or it redirects me to this password login page, which is my Shopify welcoming page. I think, as you can see, and now just like that, my domain is fully connected with uh, Shopify. As you can see here, this shop will be provided or powered by Shopify. Now, let's verify without triple three w's and as you can see this version of my domain name is required or requires more time to uh, start working but with the three w like that started pointing to shopify so with that in mind just be patient do the uh, updates or the dns updates shopify require or asks you for then change your domain type to primary instead of redirection and access your website using 3w.yourdomain.com and after that just give it a time it will work fine don't worry just be patient here and now let's return to this page no red Status DNS records are pointing to Shopify, and here also the TLS certificate provision is also uh, comes with a green check mark. So I think my domain name is fully connected to Shopify. And this is how to connect an existing domain to your Shopify online store. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below, and don't forget to give this video a like. Thank you.